video had to happen because a lot of people ask me kinds of questions and as I am documenting my journey and yes, I'm gonna have to write a book because there's not been anything that I have found that I've had to figure everything out by myself, which has been frustrating. I've had to dig into research materials, historical documents. I've had to study nonstop and piece together some truth and it's been difficult. So to have one book out there for others to kind of have to take a shortcut for themselves is a gift that I can give. But with that comes these common questions. Do you believe in the Book of Enoch? Do you believe in Lilith, the Adam's first wife? Do you think you're a star child? Do you, you know, all these extra things that because they don't really know what I believe, I'm like this confused Christian who's rebelling against the Lord and dabbling in things that she should not be dabbling in. To, to many, I'm viewed that way. To others, I'm viewed as a, a confused astrologer who's dabbling in Christianity and she doesn't know what she wants, but eventually she'll come back to astrology. It's like these people on both sides are like, okay, you're confused, child. I get it. And, it, and many of them mean well, but there's truth in everything, right? Truth gets watered down throughout history. Things get twisted. Believe it or not, uh, I think astrology is incorporating Christianity and when the Bibles were written and, and put together into the single Bible, a lot of the historical documents would use words and have the approach that knowing astrology would have been a given, but clearly it's not. Astrology is a part of life that it's not a sin, it's something that it's not predicting the future. <sighs> Just like God cannot enable sin and tempt someone, hey, look, I'm going to create the star and you three kings are going to go follow it and like study the star and it's going to lead you to my son. Yeah, badass, right? But you're going to sin and you're probably going to go to hell if you get addicted to this. FYI, but go find Jesus. Really? Yeah, okay. You can't tell me and look me in the face as a Christian and tell me that's normal, then you're making God look really bad. So there is truth to astrology. And I have been writing that and documenting it and I'm not gonna give all my secrets away because I think a book needs to be told as a story so it all comes together. And that's exactly what I'll be doing. It needed to be done, so it's being done. I'm gonna answer questions like Lilith, did she really exist? Star Children, which I've already done a YouTube video on that, if you wanted a shortcut. Um, <clears throat> the Book of Enoch from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Is there other books that sh just missed the Bible? Did the Catholic Church and Christians, early Christians, you know, customize it to keep women down throughout the centuries or to convert people and take over the world as the Pope becomes richer and richer? Because that's normal. That's clearly what God wants. That definitely obeys scripture. Did God tell you to worship saints and to pray to saints? Or did he specifically say you pray to God alone? That's scripture. So is the Catholic Church wrong? Is the Christians wrong? Is all these, all these things, is astrologers wrong? <laughs> There's a lot to take in. But I think to better yourself, you need to have an understanding of your spirituality. And you need to grow there or any fix you make is temporary because it has to be sustained with something powerful. Other than that, it's just your own power, which is minimal unless you tap into the energies that we are gifted, but we can't recognize unless we're open-minded and we're ready to look for those things. You need spirituality. You need it. And it's the people that have been the most powerful and impactful all believed in something greater than themselves. There's not a single one of them who didn't. Even Darwin on his deathbed, he was bitter against God, but he knew God existed. Anybody you study, there's something greater than themselves. So you need spirituality to be great. And that's 
you know, and, and I talk a lot about the Christian church because I am a Christian. I don't think it's the, the term that matters. That's why I consider myself a Christian alchemist because I dabble in those powerful energies as well, but they're not of Satan. God doesn't enable sin. The stars, the cosmos, they actually have roots to Christianity and disciples and 12 and the number seven and dreams. It's all connected, but you have to know where to look and dig and research, which I did. I still am. But to put it all in a book has been my goal. Not just for me, but for my kids, for future people, for friends, for loved ones. And as I've been practicing this out and studying it, my husband watches. He's a, a man who's very skeptical and questions things that consist of power, which he should, which is wise of him to do that. And instead of trying to tell him, this is this, you need to believe it, this is true, he's just been watching me. And that's how he's been slowly believing it, because he watches. Just like the Christian church lost its original purpose of showing and sharing God's love. You can barely notice that these days, huh? <laughs> yeah, love your neighbor, okay. You show and you share and you reach people through example being an example, showing God's light, right? That's how you reach people. So I'm excited for this to come out. I'll, we, I will be doing a couple videos that kind of ties in things that I will be talking about in the book, but I want to dedicate a video to if I believe in Lilith and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that as well. But heads up on a book that's coming because all this is something that needs to be talked about. So until next time, take care my friends.